Well, good morning, everybody. Daniel Wanda back from Deep South Homestead. Out here checking the high tunnels this morning before we head over to Pecan Grove. And, guys, I cleaned out one of my pots here today. I'm going to show you something. This is last year's dirt. I took out his pot. Look what it is. Malabar spinach is coming up everywhere. I got to transplant some. We're going to have to transplant some. We don't have any over at Pecan Grove, so we're going to try to get some over there from these transplants. You can't kill that stuff. Once you throw it in, it goes to seed. It just comes back year after year after year. I mean, it's amazing what happens. But now, that's not the big issue. Right now, we're inside the jungle of Freedom Blackberries. And these things are starting to get ready by the tiles here. I want y'all to look at this. I mean, you don't realize how big these things are. Um, let me see if I can... That was not quite ready. Oh, let's see. Here's another one right here. You can tell when they're ready. You just touch them and they fall off. Oh, that's a cool breeze coming through there. That one's not really ready. Oh, look at this baby. Look at the, look at the size of these. Guys, this is no maintenance. I mean, you just you just plant these things and leave them alone. I mean, they. They just do amazing. Uh, I know I saw another one right here somewhere. I saw. Look at these. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta get up high and get those. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any more down here. And then your grapes are hanging in there. Yes, those grapes are hanging by the. They're starting to canopy. Yep. Look at all the tag. Look at look, look how long this tag. Twelve inches. You know, maybe eight or ten right there. Can't believe that. I don't think I've ever had grapes do that before. But I got to get up here and see if we can't get some of these berries down. And we'll show you all. I mean, look at that. It just don't get no better than that. This is the biggest berries I've ever grown. There's one on the other side of the pipe. I know, I see Straight it. Across. I don't think I, I ain't never had berries this big. They were about this size... I guess two when, years ago when cuz strickland from mossy oak came here they were like this. Or three years ago i don't know uh they were like this but we you know we they they we tried to get rid of them in here i tried to get them out of the high tunnel where i could grow them outside and oh my word they just didn't want to take outside they like the high they tunnel. love this high tunnel i mean God, i want y'all to look at this i mean these things are like giant they're huge look at that look at this i mean, that's one i mean Look at the we size of them. I didn't bring anything out with me. Miss Wanda, we didn't bring a bowl with us out here this morning out of the house. So, we got so I'm here. making a shirt shirt making pocket. Making a shirt bowl. Remember the old aprons that had the things on them? I, you know? need, I got aprons. I just don't think to wear them. When I come out, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, we're always in a hurry. That's our problem, I guess. One day, maybe we'll slow down. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I saw another one somewhere, but I guess... Oh, right here in front of you. Yeah. I was thinking there was a... Is that one? Nope, that one ain't ready. My word. Isn't that amazing? I'm telling you. And and look at the look at the stalk for this year. It's like, like Jack and the Beanstalk thing, man. That's for... I mean, look, my hand around it. That, that's a huge stalk. And it goes <laughs> 12 feet up yonder. I mean... Wow. That's what makes berries next year? Yep, that's our next year cane for berries. Look at that. You, I mean, There's one. Now, a lot of people say, well, pinch the top out of them. And I will eventually pinch the top out of it. But they start sprouting out regardless. See her coming out right here, here, here. They start coming out. When it gets to the very peak up yonder, I'm going to lay it over. and let it, Or it'll lay over on its own from the heat. If it don't but push through our... It won't push through. It'll lay over. And then what we have on the wall here will be growing... All up in the top up here. So, it is what it is. You gotta love it. Ooh, well, stepping over into Ms. Wanda's high tone here now. The okra's coming along. Uh, not really as fast as I thought it probably would in this kind of heat. Is that wild lettuce? Probably. Let's leave it. Because it was right here, yeah. and it would. I bet the seed seeds blew over here. Only the wild lettuce, because that's that's something. 
Well, you can't hardly get no more. But this uh, stuff here. This weeds to come back. don't need it. But, anyway, but petunias. Petunias. Look at the petunias. I'm gonna wonder, have to take some of these up. Looking over there, I wonder why. You know, I mean, look at the look at that white. Petunia. These are the pink ones, probably. I want seed off that one. Look at that. So I've got to see about getting some seed. Yeah, that's. A, <laughs> but now you see all my sweet potato draws that I sweet put potato out. Sweet draws are all coming along real good. Spinach is doing really good. Yeah. So. I mean, that spinach. That I've been side eating. ain't open on your high tunnel either. I need to open that. No, it that. needs opening. Let me go open that up because we're getting up in the 80, high 80s and 90s now. But the sweet potatoes and the okra are doing amazing. That little weed doesn't belong. So that one is what, six inches high? And the others are two or three. But a full stand of okra and a full stand here. We just got to get the petunias out of it. All right, we got to roll it up. Yeah. All right, so Whew. what okay. do you think of my sweet potatoes and okra? They look good. They look good. We're going to thin the okra out here shortly, but we're going to let it get a little bit bigger. I'm going to pick the strongest ones and leave them, and then the rest of them, we'll thin them out. And we're fixing to do some more sweet potatoes. Yep. Danny's got sweet potatoes. I gotta get some ground ready over at Pecan Grove to uh, to plant some sweet potatoes. Um, and we're gonna be harvesting out of your high tunnel. They're planted in dirt, like yep, mine here. In soil. They're this not, is mine here. I've got a few. One has got a few left right here. They'll Still be ready up. to go by the time you get ready. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now these are growing. Right. I planted these. Are, these. these are planted. Yeah. But this is my slip area right here. Yeah. I'm proud of my sweet potatoes. Yeah, they're looking pretty good right now. Well, we're back here at our, re we're calling our permaculture setup here. We ain't, we don't mow underneath the tree right now because we're waiting for the clover to, you see, you still can't pull the seeds off of it yet. When you get where you can slip them seeds off, it's ready to mow. Seeds will be ready. We ain't quite there yet. Not yet, but look at this, guys. Look at here. Look at all of our little apples. We got apples all on the tree. Look at that beautiful pinkish red look. And then we got some more up here. We haven't had apples in a, several years now. The woodpeckers ruined our tree. And look at this. Isn't that pink blush beautiful? Just, oh, it's awesome. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm just loving it. And this is the tree that you grafted. Yeah, this has two different grafts. Oh, actually, three different grafts, actually. It uh, is a Dorset Golden. Yeah, Dorset Golden, and then an, uh, Anna, and an Ayn Shamir. And both the Anna and the Ayn Shamir have Apple the red song. tint. Yeah, yeah they, they're not much different. I mean, I see a few of them sticking off over there. Way over all there. over. There's one up here like that. So we've got yeah. a few apples. Got a few apples. Uh, here for long, we'll be able to come in here and mow all this down and make it look like a yard again instead of a jungle. And permaculture will be done its job. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homestead.